and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Grixis Amass. That's right, we're going to take our Grixis control deck and we're going to spice it up a little bit by playing a whole lot of Amass cards and taking advantage of them. None more important than widespread brutality. One thing about Grixis is it doesn't have the best sweepers. You know, Ritual of Soot's the best thing you've got, which does a pretty good job most of the time, but not all of the time. Um, however, we get to upgrade that here to Widespread Brutality, which hopefully kills lots and lots of creatures. Um, of course, it only deals two damage to every creature if you don't have any other <clears throat> army amassed. But with the help of like Dreadhorde Invasion and Gleaming Overseer, um, we, and of course, Enter the God Eternals, we can hopefully amass um, another arm, like a good sized army before we are Widespread Brutality. Uh, besides that, we mostly just have. Kind of normal Grixis control stuff, you know, lots of removal, got some discard. Um, but then, yeah, like the thing that that's kind of different here is our mass cards. We're also playing one Lazotep plating, which is a neat, neat little trick. So it's basically like a two mana, um, one one at instant speed that uh, gives you and all your permanents you control hexproof. So if they try to use a removal spell on your amass army, you can plating to save it. Or if they try to kill your nickel bolus, or it also gives hexproof to you. So if your opponent uh, ultimates a Chandra, you know, if they have like their Chandra out that you haven't been able to deal with, they try to minus seven to do seven to you, well, plating, don't take the seven. If they try to thought erasure you, then you can go plating and everything there. Um... So yeah, that's that's kind of our deck. Uh, Sideboard-wise, as you can see here, I have a lot in my sideboard against control. Um, or like against like decks that don't pressure us too much. In uh, the control kind of matchups, I'm probably going to be cutting um, like cards like the Widespread Brutalities, the Thought Erasures, maybe even the Gleaming Overseers, because they they're not amazing. Uh, definitely the Enter the God Eternals. Like, so we have a lot of cards to cut uh, there, and then some we'll have... Um, we'll have a lot to bring in here with like Command, Contempt, Kesmina, uh, Narset, Elder Spell, and a bunch of Duresses. Um, but yeah, this is our deck. Let's give it a try. And here we go. Oh, the sound bug is there? Okay, well, I should reset then if there's a sound bug. So we'll play over in ranked <clears throat> here with the Grixis Amass deck. We'll try it out over there. Um, to make sure we have time for the other ones, I may, like, depending on how it goes, too, I may only play three matches. We'll play somewhere between three to five matches here, kind of depending on how long the matches take, how it's going, and everything like that. We just... Picked up a lot of rank with Teamer Hydra. Hopefully we don't give it all back. Yeah, the Golgari Citadel looks like a cool donation deck. Uh, it does have... Uh, Tolgar, I think is the name of the card. In there. Where it can combo where, like, have Tolgar to, to set their life total to 10. And then you activate Citadel to make them lose 10 life. I hope we get to do that, like, one time. Famine Incarnate. That is a cool name. Famine Incarnate. So hopefully we get to do that one time. <laughs> yeah, the new modern Convoke Delve Dude. Yeah, I don't, it's, I don't remember the name of that card either, but something kind of similar to Tolgar. All tap lands. But I, I like this invasion brutality combination. Hogak. Hogak. Ooh, not all tap lands. Hmm. Looks like our opponent only wanted to have five cards in their opener instead of seven. It's pretty, pretty bold. Just saying, I don't, I don't need these other cards. Just give me five. Hmm. 
Five's all I need. All right, so we can Brutality next turn. Wipe the board. Even if there's like a Nissa here, you know, I hope there's not a Nissa, but even if it's a Nissa, still get to kill some stuff. Hmm. Is it even worth it to play Brutality just to kill the two land war elf? Let's see what they got going on over here. <clears throat> that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Good call on the Thought Erasure and saving Brutality. That would have been bad to have the Brutality get Frilled Mystic. No land drop even after that. Roby! Thanks for that sub. Again, I really do appreciate that. Hmm. Let's start getting rid of some of their permanents. I will return one day, witness a moat of my power. Yeah, widespread, widespread brutality is a pretty nice card these days. There's with all these like mana creature decks, sweepers are in a really good position, and that's like a sweeper that also adds to the board. It's definitely a good one. <clears throat> hmm. But what do I want to do here? I don't think this is a plating matchup, right? Like, they don't really target my stuff too much. Um, but Narset to keep them from drawing a lot of cards isn't so bad. What's up, Daxter? Thanks for that resub there, too. Five subs now in the day. Y'all are awesome. Thanks for the support. Uh, but yeah, Narset, Duress, Elder Spell. I play this Cry of the Carnarium. I mean, Commander Dread Horde is probably pretty cool. Only if we survive that long. Hmm. So I guess if they're if they are little to ferrying it up, I guess that would be a reason to be playing plating. So I want to trim some Ender the God Eternals. Let's get Elder Spell in here. Get a Lava Coil back. And... I want to play an R set. Yeah, Baby Teferi is really good against my mass tokens. I'm glad we added in this Ascanta over the fourth discovery. Yeah, I saw the Chandras for for Corset 2020. They're looking pretty good, especially. Especially that mythic. <clears throat> so I saw that you know it 
the mythic, the minus part says that it deals three damage to each non-elemental creature, and I was really sad because I was like, oh, three damage to each creature. I was like, thank, thank you. Something that's good against... Uh, something that we can do that's good against... Uh, that's good against Nyssa was exactly what I was thinking. And then I realized, wait a minute. Or like, that's so that's what I was thinking, the three damage, I was like, yes, kill Nyssa, and then I saw non-elemental, and I was like, no, Nyssa makes elementals. No. Yeah, I'm in trouble here. I'm going they just have to not draw land. Please don't draw land. I'm I'm risking it. Trust me. I have a plan. Yay, no land. I don't I don't know if we can beat the Nissa cuz like the Nissa is just going to make some 3/3s. Three this this only is going to do 2 damage. I don't know then make another 3/3. Three three. I guess they're just making a couple 3/3s. Three I'm known for my excellent timing. Don't worry. I got this. I have like four removal spells for the Immortal Sun, so um, you know, with Ascanta, as long as we slow him down like this. Right. That made two creatures. I don't know why I was thinking that was gonna make one creature. Let's try this. I don't know why. No, don't blow up my Ascanta. No, that's not good. This has not worked out very well. Well, this can answer a mortal sun. I want to save this for Nissa. Hero thing. Yeah, Teamer Hi Teamer Hydro is awesome. That one worked out really well. What's that last card in our opponent's hand? This is hardly my worst defeat.
got punished for, for waiting on the dispersal. I wanted to give it another try, give it another turn, see what we drew. Got punished, could have had that Kefnet already in play. Could have had another four points of damage in if I would have just dispersed immediately. Come on, deck. I mean, I guess our opponent just drew two lands in a row there, though. Like we did. Another widespread brutality would be quite good. So at that point, they, they were forced to do the blocking like that with the two Gleaming Overseers. Wait, are there new... Are there new Teferis? Are y'all saying there's new Teferis in M20? Or are you just talking about older Teferis that were already printed? All right, want to know with Grixis Amass defeating Bontaromp. We had our most important card in that matchup both games, Widespread Brutality. We got to play that on turn four both games. It really helped us win in both of them. All right, going to the second match here. All right, another good opener. Invasion and Brutality. That's what I'm talking about. I don't think that the power level for standard is going to increase any from War of the Spark. War of the Spark is the highest power level standard set we've had in long long time I longest that yeah highest power level I can think of in a while like these um I'll thought raise your next turn these planeswalkers are really really strong yeah there you go Vincent that's the link to the discord channel um, best place if you like talking magic. Tons of different rooms in there. Uh, it's for everybody. You know, you don't have to be a subscriber to join the Discord channel. It's for everyone. And we'll have a, a room up for talking spoilers for Corset 2020, just like we did with War of the Spark. I'll get that up there. So if there's a Nissa here, 
We'd have like brutality, destroy the lands, and then we'd be able to attack Nissa for four. If they just pass and don't do it, they just play a land and pass, and like I'm not gonna brutality because they're probably just activating incubation druid. If they do that, I'm gonna thought erasure and discovery. Yeah, we for life gain we have a few things. Of course, if if our dreadhorde invade, if our amass token gets to power six or greater, it can attack with life link. So that's some life gain, and then we also have three enter the god eternals as well. Um, so that's our life gain in the main deck. Sideboard, I just have a moment of craving, so don't have a lot in the sideboard, just a moment of craving. But so we got there. Hey, what's up, you weaver? Twenty one months, you are amazing. Thank you so much. Weaver, being here for a long, long time here. So it looks like they only have three lands, but of course because of Nyssa, I mean just right there, that seven mana, you know, another land could be eight or nine mana. Nyssa, pretty strong. Yeah, your token only gets lifelink whenever it attacks, not if it just has um not if it just has a lot of power. It's only whenever it attacks. So like and it gains the lifelink until end of turn. So if you can attack with a large dreadhort invasion and then widespread brutality afterwards, then you can gain a ton of life. But that's kinda hard to pull off. I'm at eight. Oh, I'm going to die to the upkeep trigger. I was thinking I was going to go to one. If they block with the incubation druid, I die to the upkeep trigger. All right, I guess I should guess I didn't. Yeah, I guess I could not attack here. Yeah, I couldn't attack here. I forgot about the upkeep trigger. Yeah, dispersal gets rid of the Nissa. That's what I needed to do was just dispersal. Um, if I Kefnet, I'm still dead to the upkeep trigger because they just make another three through with Nissa. So I I just couldn't attack there. That was a bad attack. I was thinking, I was, I don't know, I was just thinking, take seven, go to one, and then my creature's gonna have lifelink, and then I'll be fine. Bleh, bad attack. That little extra bit they had there. No, Kefnet, if I play Kefnet, I'm taking lethal. 
going to do Kefnet. Because if I do, Kefnet can block one thing, but they make another, they make another 3-3 three, three and they, they can hit me for 7. Yeah, I need to just dispersal, get rid of the Nyssa, sit back to block. That was my only play. All right, so the Elder Spell that we played last game was pretty bad for us. I'm going to not have that in and just have this enter the God Eternals. Um, what else did we do here? Took out the plating. And go with this. I played a Narset over something. I think I took out a Lava Coil, but I don't want to take out a Lava Coil with seeing Shalai. I'm just going to keep it like this. July the land and the one one. That's seven. Because I could only I could only cast discovery or kefnet. <clears throat> either way, dis or dispersal or kefnet, and either way, dispersal or kefnet dealt with a three three. But either way, they would have seven power. No, they weren't casting Nissa, Ziki. There's no cast. They didn't have to cast anything. If I cast Dispersal, the Nissa just goes. It doesn't go back to their hand. It, it just leaves. But I don't have any blockers. Well, I guess I can't cast the Kefnet now. That Lana Warolf was an annoying draw step. Maybe I should have still just... Yeah, I, I guess maybe I should have just still... Yeah, I, I, I should have just coiled the Druid that turn. Still. Well, it looks like I'm doing it this turn. Looking for Teamer Hydra. Where are you at?
We're in a tough spot. I should have coiled the incubation drew of the turn before. I haven't played this match the best, but time to just focus on trying to win from here. This is where we're at. Okay. Perfect. Okay. No, my one four. But my one four. So that probably means. Another manipulation on their side. I hope not, but that's what it probably means. Where this is my best chance of like finishing the game off if that's what it did mean. Stand by and watch. I've got it. Ugh, gross. This isn't a fight you can win. Might be a bad idea. Go 
was nothing. Don't like our chances here. I could use another widespread brutality. Heck, a widespread brutality would be pretty good. Sure. What is going on here? What is going on there? Oh, baby Teferi. Okay. That makes sense. It was just... It just looked so glitchy. Oh, at six. will bend to my will. It's like a bounce gleaming overseer draw a card or just draw a card and make them exile something. We'll do that. Because if I bounce the one for no then uh, to get rid of a druid. If I bounce the one for, then my nickel bolus has one loyalty, and they get to attack all their things at it and kill it. No, I am not making this up as I go. All right, really need to find another widespread brutality. Right here. That would be the, the bestest of top decks. Widespread Brutality. We haven't seen one yet, so there's still four in the deck. Four out of 42. Come on, Brutality. Dang. Well, like, so I could kill Shalai. But then three, then I'm taking four. I'm still, I'm still dead if I, if I kill Shalai and they attack out, I'm dead. I guess I could bounce to lie and draw a card. I guess we'll do that, because I get to draw a card still. I am omnipotent. I'm so dead. I don't have outs. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, I don't have an I don't have an out for like this dread this dread horde invasion is gonna kill me. Even No, if I would have if I would have just bounced invasion 
we were likely going to just die to the stuff that they had. Yeah, with them, especially with them drawing a land, they can just attack all. Yep. They can just attack out. Ugh. Defeat. Montage. So I made a couple, um, a couple of wrong decisions in those games, and that's what cost you game. That's what cost you games of magic. So we've played against the Bant Ramp deck both times, right? Both matches so far. Yeah, we needed the widespread brutality. That's that's the that's our best card in that matchup, and we didn't draw a single one. The games that we were winning, we drew a widespread brutality. The games that we were losing, we did not. Red. Double Frenzy. Well, I'll take one. And we'll take the other. Auto Razor's Clutch. This is your favorite card from War of the Spark? It's a good one. Now we need to find land, Kefnet, Nickel Bulls, Dragon God would be nice too. Of course, we need land though first. Don't need another one of those. Honestly, maybe I should just be ditching the land here. Uh, well, another Frenzy is going to be difficult to beat. Will resonate throughout the multiverse. No, we don't have any Ugans in the deck to deal with enchantments. Nope. We're just not going to be dealing with enchantments. Hmm. So Frenzy is going to be difficult for us to beat. That's okay, though. I think we're going with like the 
the try to have them discard Frenzy route. Dreadhorde Invasion is probably just too risky. And I don't know if I even want all these widespread brutalities then without without having invasion. I mean, it's, it's good after Enter the God Eternals. I'm going to cut some, though. Bunch of, bunch of creatures now. So we got Goblin Pirate, Viashina Wizard. I'm going to save the coil just in case there's a Rekindling Phoenix. Not really too scared of the Vyoshino Pyromancer, even though it dealt an extra point of damage there. Yeah, Chain Whirler, Steamkin, those would be nice things to be able to coil as well, like instead of like having the Angrass Rampage later that doesn't uh, get rid of a creature that we want. Really just hoping for no Frenzy. Our opponent drew all the Frenzies last game. How they're throwing away burn spells, though, that certainly uh, makes it seem like a Frenzy. Okay, it's not a Frenzy. It's my turn. So I'm going to have to use the Dragon God to kill the Chandra. But obviously we need more mana for that. Let's just see if there's a frenzy over here. Nope. And this will help us hit the land drop, hopefully. Sit back and watch it burn. Good thing we saved the coil. Need to draw this fifth mana, though. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. Well, I can... I can also just attack this Chandra for one, like with my Menace creature, to make sure it doesn't kill me if we don't draw the land. All right, drew the land. I will remake the multiverse. In I don't need this. I am death's master. Ah, uh, but now we have to deal with the frenzy. That's going to be really hard. That's probably going to end the game. Oh, 
show us you're alive. My assistants are painfully sloppy. Hey, Kazunato. Uh, thank you so much. Well, if you do move to Japan, I hope you enjoy it. Good game. So number seven on the day. I couldn't gain life with the Enter the God Eternals. Um, what an Narset. Yeah, we could widespread brutality, take one, kill Tibalt, have entered the God Eternals the next turn if our opponent completely whiffed. Could have done that. Moving on. All right, decent opener. <laughs> yeah, infinite bolus deck. Yeah, it's it's not like better than playing like regular Esper if you're trying to play like the very best deck, but yeah, it's viable to pick up some wins. Absolutely. Both these cards are good. We're going to keep them both. We don't have a guaranteed fifth mana yet for Nicol Bolas. It's a lot of stuff. This would be the guaranteed fifth mana, but honestly, I think that, yeah, as we can see there, I don't think it's going to be that difficult to draw a fifth land, so I'm just getting rid of those. So Light of the Stage is kind of the easy card to, like, help make it so they don't hit land drops, but honestly, it's not like I'm not killing my opponent anytime soon, and... I can't really beat Frenzy... So just getting rid of the card I can't beat. I really hope they don't draw a land here. No land, no land. No land. I do not want to see like this extra Phoenix or Chandra. Okay. That's good. The more, the messier. Mortal Nicol Bolas will be your end. Conceivable, let your weak minds crumble. Oh, so Alright, we'll see if they have a shock to pair with that lightning strike. Okay, good. Not a shock.
So we'll be able to activate Nicol Bolas again. <laughs> I do not play Modern anymore. You wield but a drop of power. Honestly, I don't know about like Bant Ramp versus, versus Esper. I'm not sure what that matchup really looks like. I don't know, to be honest. I have other schemes to attend to. My intellect is without limit. <laughs> this canto's good. I'll fit the curve nicely. Or, like, I'll fit. Fit our hand nicely. Yep, pipe all fixed, Gatsby. I'm gonna plating to keep Bolas alive. I'm gonna Lazatep plating to keep it alive. Yeah, I block it. This makes a 1 1. Yeah, so that's a mass one. And of course we'll block the Tibalt token uh, because we have hexproof and, and everything else has hexproof. So the one day, so they have to just do the one damage themselves. All right, and two and one here with Grixis Amass. All right, let's play one more. Maybe just one more with the deck. Um, Want to make sure we got time for both of our donation decks. We'll see how, you know, if it's a longer match, it'll just be one more. If it's a short match, we'll play two. All right, we'll take it. Let's lead with Watery Grave in case we draw Thought Erasure. We may be playing against a Grixis opponent over here. We have Ral and Racto sleeves. Ral like blue red. Oh, what? I didn't. Well, I guess we're not playing Watery Grave. Uh, blue red and then red black. The Grixis Mirror. Yeah, it could be Esper. Sleeves are saying Grixis, though. But Esper is a lot more popular than Grixis, that's for sure. This card's good against Hero Precinct 1. Ah, it is Espa. Yeah, 
bit of shock to have that blue mana in. It lets me keep Bedevil up on turn three without having to shock in for Bedevil. Watery, watery Grave as our opponent's first land isn't the most um, aggressive land there. And therefore, willing to take the two. But I guess with Dreadhorde Invasion, maybe I shouldn't be trying to take that two. Rude. So interesting how the auto tap tapped that one white source. So it definitely means they have no Dovin Veto in hand. So that's kind of good to know that we know that they don't have a Dovin's Veto. No. I was going to, I was actually just going to jam the nickel bullets the next turn. I was trying to play around, you know, see if, see like what they would have with counter magic if we could wait till they tapped out or anything like that, but I was actually just going to play it. Meditate and prepare. This was overwhelming. A uh, correct bullet, bullish. I do not. No longer stand by and watch. You need to take a time out. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Hmm. Attack. I'm sorry, yeah, I just I play arena here each and every day. I know my responsibility. That's more like it. Um Yeah, I I don't don't play modern anymore. I sold my collection and everything. Um Hmm. Don't really want to use the bedevil on that thing. I can't really, you know, pass turn and then, you know, end step bedevil, of course, because it's a fairy. Not being able to play instance. I haven't talked too much about the new Chandras. Um, right on schedule. If you're oh, please do not kill my 1 1 here. You Stick up. Ago. No. Time is much more malleable than people think. Well, if they don't have any removal, from existence. I can surprise kill them next turn. I can I can attack for six next turn. Let's skip to the good part. They just have all bricks? Like, I don't know what they would have. You know, like, That's more just like all it. lands. Gross. Nine damage? I can't, atta can't attack for nine.
Oh, so the problem with Big Teferi here is Big Teferi untaps there as Kanta. Little Teferi can bounce my 6-6 six, six and draw a card, but then, you know, it's gone. But Big Teferi gets to draw a card plus untap the Ascanta after it activates, and I just, I can't possibly deal with that. That Command the Dreadhorde card was really good. Looks like they they have another one. The card's really good. I have two of those Command the Dreadhordes in my sideboard that we'll be bringing in here in this matchup. I've got time. All right, so Kasmina, Narsets, Duress, Elder Spell, Contempt, Command. The Enters come on out. The Brutalities come on out. The Lava Coils out. The Overseers out. Do I want to take out plating? Would I rather keep an overseer in over the plating? They have little to fairy. Can't actually instant speed anything. Hey, Holes, good afternoon. Honestly, maybe I should just be taking out... Maybe I should just be keeping an Overseer and taking out this Dreadhorde Invasion card uh, to try to not lose any life at all with... Um, with... Command the Dreadhorde. Pretty sweet life. Can we draw the fifth land, please? Come on, fifth land. Dang. Really hope they don't have a command of the Dreadhorde here. I, will return. I mean, I guess I have the Elder Spell though. Shh. 
Stop. Sorry, I'm late. I'll protect you. Well, they get a hit in with Thief. Ooh, maybe they got three lands. Nope. They got my Thought Erasure. Just get four Thought Erasures. That's fair. Well, they kept their card on top really fast, and they get to hit me with Thief, and I have nothing. So we'll just end it right there. Thought Erasure is a messed up card. Four Thought Erasures. <laughs> that game. Oh, uh, it's messed up. Alright, so that's Grixis a mess. We'll finish it up there at two and two. Ugh. Getting our Thought Erasure four times. Not fun at all. Not fun. Um... Yeah, Thought Erasure may be the best card in Standard. I kind of think it's number two behind Land War Elf. I think it's Land War Elf, then Thought Erasure. That's, that's probably. That sounds... Um, that sounds pretty good. <clears throat> All right, uh, so that's Grixis and Mass. Um, honestly, went pretty well. Went pretty well. Um, I think maybe I should have the last time maybe I should not have kept in the Dreadhorde invasions and uh, kept in like Gleaming Overseer instead because um, yeah I, I think I think whenever I'm playing the command the Dreadhorde bringing that in I don't think I want to be like losing the life every turn you know for a while with the Dreadhorde invasion so I should probably sideboard that out there for those games you know i could keep in like <clears throat> more overseer like if i take out those four i could have kept in two overseers one plating and then something else uh like and then keep in like one cry or enter or brutality keep in one of those <clears throat> cry in case they're having in case you know like their hero precinct one goes crazy and then obviously you know we saw the uh we saw them have the the Thief of Sanity too, but so either Cry or Brutality. I mean, I guess it would just be Brutality instead of Cry, so because Brutality you can just play it as a two, a four mana two two. So probably keep one of those in, or keep an Enter the God Eternals in. Mass the amass stuff isn't really that great in general against Little Teferi, but Overseer uh, is. But these. A mass tokens getting bounced by little teferi is not so great. Anyway, there we go. All right, so we are going to go ahead and uh, move on to Golgari Citadel now. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, one thank you so much for watching. I really do um, appreciate that and hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button um, and uh, subscribing to the channel would be nice as well. But that's it here for Grixis Amass. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I will see you for another video.